This is the yeah. only time I get to really like go on a trip by myself. Yes. See? Yeah. Why are you freaking out? Because <laughs> I always freak out. There's all sorts of stuff you've done that you were worried about and then you did it and it wasn't that bad. I can do yeah. I can do things that I want to do. Yeah. Even if I'm scared. I should just that means just means I should do them more, right? Oh well, yeah, that way you just get used to it because if you're afraid of stuff and I mean you don't do it, then you just miss out on a possible good opportunity. I am so scared, you guys. I booked a trip, a solo trip, my first solo trip in Korea outside of Seoul and I'm going to Sokto. I've been there before in 2019 with my friend McCall, but I thought it'd be a good place to go back doing a solo trip by myself. And it's scary. <laughs> this, this year, one of my main goals is to like face my fears and do things that scare me. So I can just prove to myself that I can, you know, do hard things. And this is one of those things where I was just like, you know, when I'm cooler and wiser and more confident, I will go on a solo trip by myself. And I've been saying that for a while. And so I'm like, you know, I think it's time. I have this really long weekend because it's Lunar New Year here in Korea. And this will be really be the only time I'll be able to do this sort of thing until like October. So I am taking advantage of this. I'm scared. <laughs> I was talking to my dad earlier about this trip. He really encouraged me to go actually. Um, he was like, you have the time, you have the money, like go do it. So he really encouraged me to like get the tickets and stuff. Um, and then I called him like while I was booking the tickets, I'm like, dad, I'm nervous, I'm so nervous. And, and he just told me, you know, like, think of all the other things you've done in your life, like by yourself. This is so, so small compared to that. So um, yeah, like I literally moved to Korea by myself. <laughs> like I one time flew to the Philippines all by myself, like three different flights. That was crazy. I've done a lot of things by myself and I don't know why it's so hard for me to like do something here in Korea by myself to go on a solo trip, but I'm gonna do it because I've always wanted to do it and I've always wanted to film it. So it's happening. Right now, I booked tickets today. I'm packing my backpack right now. I don't want to bring, yeah, I just want to bring a backpack. We'll see how that goes. Like, but I'm surprised with how nervous I am. So this is my cue that I really need to do this and prove to myself that I can do it and that it's going to be a really good time. And I'm very, very excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me facing my fear and going on a solo trip in Sokoto for 24 hours. And I'm gonna take you with me. So it's not just gonna be me. You're coming with me. So yeah, I'm just gonna borrow you for the next 24 hours if that's okay. And we're gonna go to Sokcho and have a good time. Yeah, you down? All right, let's, let's go guys, let's go. I'll see you tomorrow morning when I get on the bus. <laughs>
아, 예약했어요. 어디 가는 거예요? 아, 썩죠? 몇시 차하셨어요? 아, 9.30? 안나오는데오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요오는있어요
The population is 84,000 ish or 82,000, something like that. And it's just in the northern, northeastern part of Korea. And it's so gorgeous. And it, I love it here. I've been missing the ocean because, you know, I went to school in Hawaii. And now I'm feeling good. Now I'm feeling good. This is the same ocean. I'm pretty sure Hawaii is that way. So yeah, it's just so gorgeous here and I love it. And I'm wasting no time. I'm just going and exploring. We're going to see what I can get up to. I'm, I'm so excited. Oh, this is so much fun. And there are literally people surfing out there. It's like four degrees Celsius. Go, good for them. I'm like so happy for them. Anyways, I should probably put my mask on even though I'm not around anyone. It will check into our hotel soon so that I can get rid of my huge backpack. And then we can go maybe on a bus somewhere. I'm excited. Guys, I've been experiencing so many problems today, but it's still been like such an adventure. My room wasn't cleaned yet, so they're like, we can give you a two bedroom now if you want. I'm like, sure, why not? Adventure, I just want to get out there. I don't want to wait for my room to be clean, so let's go, time to learn. best part of it what I thought this faced the water can I see the water over here oh there I can see it it's there it's over there above the trees <laughs> Woo! yes yes oh, this feels so good <laughs> I'm so happy I'm so happy Oh my gosh, life is lovely, isn't it, guys? Oh, so happy. Honestly, this room is pretty nice, and it was only 125,000 won. I feel like if you want to solo travel, like to a place in Korea, like I'm doing right now, like you need to have Korean skills to do it. And I like hate saying that, but it's it's honestly true. Like people say. If you want to come to Korea and be an English teacher, you don't need to speak any Korean. Well, that's technically true. It's basically, you don't need to speak any Korean if you want to survive here. But if you want to like live here, like really live and go out and be on your own and go on a solo trip like me, like you need to have some Korean knowledge. You really do. And people ask me how like I've been able to speak Korean. Like I posted a speaking Korean video a few weeks ago with my <laughs> very basic Korean, but like I think the real reason that my speaking has gotten so much better since like I studied abroad here is because I actually started like using it and learning with actual people. I know some of you guys don't have like Koreans to practice your Korean on or anything like that. So for all of you guys out there who want to practice your Korean with an actual certified Korean teacher, I recommend that you guys check out italki, which is the sponsor for this video. You guys have probably already heard of italki. They're seriously amazing. What I love specifically about like italki is that you have a one-on-one -on -one experience with a teacher and because it's just a one-on-one -on -one experience, they will tailor make lessons to match your learning style, which I think is phenomenal because we all learn in different ways. You can also study at your own pace without worrying about any rigid schedules because you can literally book classes anytime that you want. And it's not like one of those other types of companies where it's a subscription base. Like you can literally just book a class in one class and that's it. That's all. Or you can book five classes and that's it. Like it's so nice because you can do it at your own schedule and at your own pace. And if you do get like a teacher that you really like working with, again, they can create kind of like a curriculum for you. So if you're very confused about what Korean you should learn or how to learn, because self-study is very, very difficult. I highly recommend you guys checking out italki and like finding a teacher that works for you. There are also trial classes. So you can like have a trial class with a teacher that's less expensive and if you like them 
then you can have like an actual full class. A lot of the times when I'm like learning Korean, I like learn all these basic things, but then not Korean that I'm actually gonna use in real life. Like if you wanna come over to Korea and teach English, you can get an italki teacher who's going to teach you all that you're gonna need to know to like live in Korea because there's so much that I didn't know, which has caused so many issues while I've been here in Korea. So if I were to go back in time, I would honestly, book some italki classes and learn the Korean that I'm gonna need as an English teacher in Korea. If you're coming to be an English teacher, you can tell your italki teacher that and they'll know what to teach you that you're gonna need while here in Korea. Cause trust me, my life would have been so much easier if I would have done something like that before coming over here. So these teachers, they're also gonna give you very solid feedback. Not like your friends who are just like, oh, you're doing great. You know, they're actually gonna give you useful feedback. I've had other sponsorships reach out to me actually, but I chose italki as my first one just because I highly respect them so much and I think that what they're doing is amazing. You guys can register for italki for free with the link in the description below. They're also having this 2022 challenge where you can earn like lots of different coupons that can actually give you credit so you don't even need to pay for your classes, which is awesome. So you can go check that out. I really hope you guys check italki out because if you haven't used them already, like you should, they're amazing and there's a reason that I chose them as my first sponsor. <laughs> Anyways, um, on that note, I'm gonna go back out and we are going to go to a market. I'm so excited. So let's get ahead and get going. Let's, let's, let's head out. <laughs> All right, after exploring that Shijang and having a great conversation with the guy at the cash register of a 7 Eleven, I'm gonna go find a place to eat this and watch the sunset. See, everybody was having one of these, so I was like, might as well spend 90,000 won on it. Also, I'm just hungry and I didn't know what else to get, so. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Look at all of these lights. It's gorgeous. And then there's that right there. This is like perfect for couples. <laughs> and here I am alone, but I'm like so happy. This is like such a fun time. Look at all of this. I reach through mysterious ceilings. 
my only hope I look for the things I don't know Because I love heights, I'm gonna go to the top of that. I think it's not expensive. Let's go! Hi, Can I help you? Just one? Oh, yeah, just one. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Are you living in Gawando? What? Are you living in Gawando? No. No, okay. 2,500. Okay. Um, aha, uh -huh. yes. Thank you. I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Observatory. <laughs> Honestly guys, I've always loved heights. I love being able to look at the world from a different point of view. It, I don't know, it just, it makes me feel so much better for some reason, like being on top of the world. It's like, all my problems are down there. Not up here, I'm above it all. I'm so happy here. This is like my happy place right here. Like I'm so happy. I should probably go now though. I've been here for like 45 minutes. Guys, today is just the most perfect day. Oh, there's a shadow. I'm gonna try these, which I'm very excited about. They're like candied strawberries. I've never tried them before, but they're a thing in Korea. So let's try them. Mmm, that is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, it's official. I love my life. <laughs> love it. See guys, like the whole point of this video is you don't need have an excuse to do something i guess fun and exciting you don't need another person because i honestly have been having like so much fun i know i'd have fun with somebody else too that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying it's better to be by yourself i'm saying it's it can be equally as fun as being with someone else like i always thought i needed a friend to go on an adventure with me but honestly i've just had so much fun just listening to myself and what i want to do and like going out and doing stuff and just randomly changing my mind and, and doing other things and getting diverted and observing the people around me and it's it's amazing it's days like today where i'm reminded that 
traveling really is my passion. I love to travel and I love to experience new things. And I, I've kind of forgotten that. I've forgotten how much it makes me feel alive and it makes me feel so happy and just see the world in a different way and I'm in love with it. I hope I can get on and travel again soon. And just filming today too has been so much fun. It's been so fun to take you with me. So thank you so much for like joining me, for being with me throughout the day. It's been worthwhile and I'm so thankful that you joined me. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. If I were to live, if I were to teach or live in any city outside of Seoul, it would probably only be Sokto. I don't know what it is about it here, but like I love it here. Love it. Busan does not compare, guys. Busan does not compare. I love this place. I'm just gonna continue eating my strawberry candy that's very hard to eat and enjoy the view and the ocean. Do you guys hear that ocean in the background? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, your girl's happy. So happy. <sighs> Life is good. sleep all at all last night. I had like the worst night's sleep. Uh, it was just full of me tossing and hurting. So I want to sleep now so badly but I also want to catch that sunrise so gotta get up. Mm. Oh my gosh we're gonna miss the sunset. We gotta go. I mean the sunrise. We gotta go! So many people are out already. I thought it was a big Lunar New Year. They wouldn't be. I saw the sunrise this morning it was such a fun experience like honestly it was so worth it I loved it too because there were so many other people there um, and it just felt like we were all experiencing this this moment together and we we're all celebrating the new year coming in Lunar new year coming in together and it was just such like a lovely moment and I really enjoyed it I, I loved it like all of us strangers we were just coming together for the sunrise and it was so magical <laughs>
mission accomplished. Oh,